be in this like weird position. Um, you look lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. If you could just put the final touches on what is soon to be our style icons, Deepika. See, it's very simple. What I give you, you get to keep. So you might as well tell me what you like. You have these? These? We'll exchange it backstage. <laughs> <laughs> this? I have to take stylist's approval. Um, yeah, maybe the sunglasses. Maybe sunglasses, OK. Mm -hmm. These? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> what do we think? How does it look? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Not nice. bad at all. And of course, inspired by Miss Deepika Padukone. You want these? Mm. <laughs> 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 I mean, what do I tell you now? <laughs> nice, no? Mm. Now what do I wear? <laughs> okay, I'll wear these. over the last few years. Yeah. What exactly has the experience been like? S can I sit? Mm. You can no. sit or stand. Mm. You're still an inspiration. Mm. Um, yes, it has been one of my longer associations. I've been with the brand for three years now. And uh, this year is even more special because we have Adriana Lima on board and we have Lee. Lu Shishi from China. Um, so I think that makes it even more special. And uh, what we've done with this time's collection is because all three of us come from different parts of the world, we've come out with a special capsule collection which is specific to where we come from. And uh, specifically from India, we have um, eyewear that's inspired by Indian textures, Indian fabrics, Indian prints, and especially uh, Indian mehendi, which is obviously very, very unique to us and to our culture. Um, so that's the inspiration, whether it's the design, whether it's the color, or even the little bit of detail that you see on the inside. Thank you very much. And also, I have to ask you, what does it mean for you to be a style icon? Well, I think for me, it's just happened by default. I just have amazingly talented people who work, uh, who, you know, who 
who put it together for me and, and make me look the way I do, um, I don't think I can take any credit for that. So actually, could we have the team behind you for a photograph, please? Yeehaw. This is the core team for Deepika. Frames के बारे में बोलूँ या अच्छा so let me start again. I think uh, I've been associated with the brand for th uh, three years now. And it's a lot of fun because I think all girls like dressing up. And uh, I think what they offer is something different for every look. So when my stylist comes uh, to my and whenever we have some, you know, some event or something, we never fall short of some eyewear. You know, whether it's an optical frame or whether it's sunglasses, we always have something uh, either in terms of style, or either in terms of uh, uh, color, uh, different kinds of textures. So there's always, what I say, there's always a different look for every mood and every season. Who is your style icon? Settle, everyone, done? Who is your style icon? My style icon uh, is my mother. Um, She's, I don't know, I don't think even she knows this, but she's had, an, she's had an influence on my life ever since I was growing up. It was always uh, simple, minimalistic. She would always stick to whites and blues and pastel shades and um, even accessorize was, accessorizing was very, very minimal. So I would say my mom. Um, my father has a face where he can carry off different types of uh, frames. My mother has a slightly smaller frame uh, face, so there's only few styles that that suit uh, her. And she, in fact, now the tables have turned. Now she relies on me a lot. So, jabhi, you know, whenever we travel or something, uh, if we go shopping, she'll always ask me for my opinion and. Uh, it matters to her. Yes, 
Yes, I, I think the most important thing is that a brand always has, has to be an extension of your personality. Um, me as an individual, you stand for certain things and I think the brand also has to have similar uh, values. What are the values that you value in that? Um, I think it depends. I think it depends from, from brand to brand. There's, you know, uh, for, for Vogue, for example, I think the fact that it's uh, uh, fresh, it's fun, it's feminine, uh, you know, uh, versatile, uh, you know, I think these are the things that, uh, so I think it will depend from brand to brand. Uh, I think uh, Kajol. Kajol has beautiful eyes. Uh, Aishwarya, obviously, everyone knows she has beautiful eyes. Um, First of all, I find it really amazing that some picture of my film with me which I have put with a certain hashtag is, it's amazing how some connection is found to some completely different film and uh, completely blown, up, blown out of proportion. Uh, having said that, uh, I don't think any of this, these articles will ever come in the way of my uh, equation with Shah Rukh. I think uh, what he and I share is known to us. It's very, very special. And none of these articles will ever come in the way of that. In fact, ironically, um, while all of you were probably reading that article, he was messaging me and congratulating me about my foundation because I launched the logo of my foundation yesterday. And he was actually one of the first people who I spoke to when I was thinking of setting it up. And uh, he's always been very, very encouraging and very supportive. And um, yeah. No, I think the function is that it protects your eyes from, uh, you know, from the sun, from the dust, most importantly. Um, especially, I think, for people who are constantly outdoors or constantly traveling, two wheelers. Um, you know, I, so of course, there's there's one aspect that's, of course, the way you look and it. it depends on what frames you choose for your style, for your uh, whatever you're wearing. But um, I think what is, uh, there's, there's always the functional side as well, which we actually never focus on too much. We always, you know, sort of present sunglasses like only a fashion accessory, but there's also the functional aspect of it, which we should also talk about. It's a good question. One last question. We just have one last question. I wouldn't call them posters, I think they're just uh, looks from the film that are going out right now because we were shooting in Corsica and um, I think the response has been very, very positive and I think in the next month or so we'll, uh, we'll have the trailer which will be ready, the posters will be out. But you haven't seen, what you've seen is just some working stills, it's not really the first uh, poster. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm just an actor. Um, I'm neither the director nor the producer. Um, and like I always say, I have absolutely no business sense. So I have no idea when it comes to whether it's good for a film or not. I think my duty as an actor and responsibility as an actor is to um, perform and perform well to the best of my ability and to be honest to what I do and then you have to let it go. It's, it's entirely up to the professionals like the producers who will take that call. Everybody's dressing so well these days. I think everyone, it's become almost like uh, a part of the entourage. You know, I think everyone today definitely has a, a stylist and I think everyone's individual stylists are doing a good job. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. 
I don't think I'm. I don't know. I don't think I'm any. Uh, one second. I'm answering. One second. I don't think I'm. Um, I don't. I don't think I know enough about fashion to be styling other people. If anything, uh, I think there are a lot of people out there who can style me. Ji? No, I haven't been offered that film yet. In fact, I I read some reports that I've walked out of the film, and I keep thinking to myself, how can I walk out of a film that I was never a part of in the first place? So I find some of these reports a bit bizarre. Last question, sorry. सनग्लास के पीछे आपका चेहरा सर थैंक यू